How is lads? I'm just um, lying under this machine and I am going to get the underneath of this in Primal. I already had it ground down and it's just got a lot of surface rust on it so I gotta just go over it again and make it look like this and um, a little small bit of welding one or two little spots, nothing major but yeah let's get to it Jeez, lads, because of the way I'm lying and sitting here, my heart is just racing. Wow. I gotta. Oh, I gotta get this. Try and stretch it myself. Wow. Okay, guys, so. <sighs> just caught my breath there. So I gotta weld up. I'm gonna weld up this. Weld up this. I wanna weld up that and a little bit there. I might weld up this hole too. Any kind of little small hole that I could probably weld up with. Not really a need to, but I might just do it. Yeah, well, come on, making progress. I'll get primer on this tonight, that's one way for sure, anyway, lads. We've got a good lot of it done. Just has to touch it up more, so. Let's keep to it. 
Just uh, for anybody that does want to do this, I would advise, the way I did it was originally, I hope I have the footage, if I do have the footage I'll, I'll insert a bit of a heel. I just used a rougher wire wheel than this, same size but it was a flat one, ripped it more so, this is a finer one, I'll get a picture of the one that I got and I'll put it in there anyway, but because I've already burnt out a grinder because I used a bigger head than this. That says like a two and a half inch, maybe a three inch disc. And um, the one I had was a four inch disc and it was just uh, it ripped, it just vibrated the grinder too much. So if you were to do it, I'd advise going for a, a wire wheel that's this size and the grinder and it won't burn out the grinder. And to be fair, this is absolutely a, a lovely grinder to use. Hey Cookie. Oh, hello, hello. Oh, hello, hello. few moments later so we're just mixing up the epoxy primer then for the uh, for the front or for wherever I'm priming at the minute it's just the days have been all over the place lads and um, huge shout out to Joey GT there for sending us out them lovely stickers and um, massive shout out to Colin Dowling on the L go kart there what an absolute savage Kieran Daly he's looking at him all day long he's like he's keeping me in business boys a uh, huge shout out to Eric cars as well with the stickers a savage um, guys, if you want to send us over a few stickers, anybody at all, belt away. I'll stick them on the wall here, a bit of advertisement for you, for the little fans that I have got. One fan I have got, actually, lads, I want to give him a big shout out to the one that's just above me, sucking all this uh, dust and all the um, the pollutants out the sky, you know, into a filter system now, do you know what I mean? A few old socks, a few bottles of coke, people try to rock them. Cheers, and nearly fell over the ironing board. Yeah, I was going to edit that out, but... I thought it was far too funny to take out. Um, come here guys though, yeah, I was going to use the 4CR primer, um, but they didn't have it in stock. They only had the uh, filler primer, no epoxy primer. So I was left with an alternative of Novel and I can't remember the other one, but I picked the Novel one because I heard good reviews prior to this. But anyway guys, enjoy it. Here we go, spray it.
Now unfortunately my compressor is still there and I'm using the smaller one and the one I've got is just not big enough to spray it all at once. So I had to do it in stages, it is what it is, it's not ideal but at least it's all getting primer and not sitting there in the bare metal getting rust and stuff so it is what it is, we've got to make do with what we have lads. <laughs> Okay lads, so I went a little bit crazy with the uh, rust removal or paint removal fucking grinding disc and um, have a little look at what we came up with. Just before I do, let me give that camera a little clean. So just before I show you, I've got the driver side front arch done, I've got the driver side backs back arch is done I've got the underneath done over to a point of the arch at the back passenger side so I gotta just get that primered up now soon and I'm just gonna primer as much as I can at once really so check out check out what I'm after the I decided to just go for it because there was a little bit of, I wouldn't even say it was rust on it. I just wanted to take it in because, just because. Um, I remember that I had a bit of filler over here and a bit of filler here. But uh, I'd love to see the fresh steel anyway. At least this way with the fresh epoxy primer on it. It's going to be nice and clean. And um, yeah, we're nearly ready to paint lads. I really, really, really mean that. So. The idea today is just get this all primed up, it's ready and when I want to stop with this I can primer up. I'm going to get the passenger front done tomorrow and then that's the car kind of primer. But when I do the passenger front I'm going to finish the underneath because I didn't do the tunnel or underneath the floorboards. But um, it's all in stages boys, I just want to get it primed up, I want to get it done so we're on the right path. Just got to keep at it, let's go. Alright lads, so I've got this section now ready to primer. Oh I don't, I've got a little bit of grinding there to do, just as well to put that light on. But She's going bare metal anyway, that's for sure, i got to just give it a quick blow off. The sills are in decent shape. Let's get primer.
done. Not overly concerned about this because it's going to get all the under seal on it. So, got all of that there. Primer up. Quarter panels all primer. I ran out of memory, guys, so I couldn't really get myself primer on it. But sure, you know, I spray in there. Like, can you guess what that is there? No. Um. Yeah. So got that all primered up anyway. And as you can see, the line. It's just where I stopped grinding. So I got to just finish the pillow. I'm trying not to get that care in it, guys. I got to finish that pillow and just up there across. So guys, I'm gonna get grinding from here to there to there, wherever it's gone there. Yeah, I'm gonna get that little section done on the pillow, and I might even get the back of it done as well. Then just around at the boot lid. I'll show you now. See if I can get it. So I have kind of saw sort of got. Yeah, you can see the yellow. Um, didn't need to take it down to the bare metal, but I still might do. Um. But yeah, I might even get the back of it painted up today. I don't know what I'm going to do. I've got a car over there that I'm working on as well. So move along with that as well. Once that's moving along, I'm all good in the hood. Um, but as I said, guys, I did want this painted for my birthday. Um, my birthday is April 24th this year. Every year. Just get a year older. Oh, God. But anyway, guys, if you like what you see, please like, share, subscribe. The little Patreon link that I have down below, um, I'm just after getting it up and running. If you just want to go on over there and become a member, um, I'm going to be putting up frequent updates on this now. So with the future videos, you're going to just see videos coming up of me still probably disassembling this car. So I just was doing this more so to update you and let you know what the crack is. And I will be loading videos up like there's no tomorrow. And while them videos are all being loaded up, lads, I'll be flat out working on this thing. Yeah, buddy. So... Hit the Patreon, lads, and you might keep updated a bit more because I'm going to have a frequently updated on that. Have a good one, lads. See you on the next one.